This conference will now be recorded. Hi, good morning. Uh, today we're going to discuss uh, the small part transformation, uh, the simple transformation, union and union all transformation. Okay, now um, in the union transformation, you need two data sets. Okay, you should have a two data sets. The two data sets should have a same schema. Should have a same schema. If you see the schema, you can see employee name, department, state, salary, age, bonus. In the second data sets, you can see is a simple data set two. You have a same schema. Now, if, if if I perform the union, if I perform the union, whether you guys have to say the union will drop the duplicates or not. Yes, sir. If I perform, it will, it will drop the duplicates, sir. It will? Drop the duplicates, sir. It will draw, it will remove the duplicates. Okay, now you can see in the simple data. So, James sales NY 90,000, 30, 10,000 is there. If you look at simple data 2, you have James sales NY 90,000, 34, 10,000 is there. What will happen if you use union, it will remove the one duplicates. It will give the value as James sales NY 90,000, 34, 10,000. Union is nothing but you just going to merge into a single data frame because you're going to play the data frames right now. The, we have uh, two data frames because I have two data sets. This is uh, one data set. This is another data set. For this, I go to create a data frame. For simple data set two, I go to create another data frame. If I use union, what will happen? It's going to merge the two data frames into a single data frame. Okay, now you you will get if you use union, you will get uh, eight records because you might have question. Totally have four records. Here also you have uh, five records, right? One, two, five. Totally, it has to give nine records. You can say, but though you have duplicates, James sales we NY ninety thousand thirty four and ten thousand is there. Here also James sales NY is there. Okay, now it will remove the one duplicate. It will take only one value. Shiva, totally have four values. Here I have five values. Totally nine records will be there, right? If you perform union, it won't give nine records. The union will remove. Union will Duplicate. remove duplicates, duplicate records. Okay, it will take only. Uh, it will remove these duplicates and will keep this value. Okay, now next one is union all transformation. Union transformation same like union. It's going to merge the two uh, data frames and then it's going to give us nine records. Union all does not remove any duplicates. Okay, it won't remove any duplicates. It just merge the two data frames into a single data frame. Now, uh, I'm going to show the uh, demo. Let me have a quick uh, glimpse in the VS Code. Let's go here. Now, uh, this is our project actually. Uh, this is editor setting, but Visual Studio Code. In our project snow part data frames, I am going to create one new file. Just to give some name. The name you have to give as uh, union tx transformation dot py file. py means it's a Python file. Shiva, you have to make it as dot py. It's a Python file. Okay, now good. Um, you have to import two statements for snow part. Satish, can you say the import statements? What are two import statements you have to import? Sir, uh, import, import snowflake.snowflake.snowflake.snowpark. Snowflake, snowflake. Snowflake snowpark. Give the alias name as snowpark. Next one is? Sir, from? From. You snowflake. have to search the module. You have to search the module. Okay. Snowflake is a root. From that, you have to search this module. Snowpark. And then? Import sessions. Import session, good. Import session. I'm not able to see in yeah. Import session. Good. Okay. Shiva, what you have to do, right? Uh, I need this uh, snow park API. Okay. Then if you play, keep the placeholder, you can see some module. Okay. Okay. I want need to import this module. I giving the allies name as snow park. And then I need to create session. 
if you create the shell you can establish a connection with your snowflake data warehouse that's why we are creating a session we are searching from this module the folder model ko snowflake folder ko le snow park ko snow park ko le na pandra na session indra or a class na na pandra abdi na import pani kare okay na good now uh, if you have session you can able to establish connection with your data warehouse now i need the connection params connection params irundha mattum da enala enna panna mudiyum abdi na enala vandu snowflake ko connect panna mudiyum okay I will take the connection param somewhere. Okay, uh, this is the existing code I have. Uh, you know how to use the connection params. It's a kind of dictionary. It's a kind of dictionary key and value pairs. Okay, ngla dictionary. If you are from Bali, na, this is our curly brace. Under na, you can say dictionary. Sollam Python la key irkum value irkum. I given the Snowflake account name, a Snowflake username, Snowflake passwords, and uh, role is account admin. Where is computer W H databases H R D B schema is H R schema. Okay, ngla the remaining four is optional. Ninge the kudu klam kudu kam bola. Dictionary na ena na key and value pairs. Left side lagad key, right side lagad value. Key epo me stringa darkno. Key epo me stringa darkno. Value vandu integer darklam, string darklam, float darklam, double darklam, anything can be. But key should be a string. Now good. இப்போ வந்து எனக்கு ஹெல்ப் பண்ண முடியுமா ஐ வாண்ட் டு கிரியேட் செஷன் நியூ செஷன் சொல்லிட்டு ஒரு வேரியபிள் டிஃபைன் பண்ணீங்க டிஃபைன் ஒன் வேரியபிள் ஓகே நவ் கால் திஸ் கிளாஸ் சொல்லுங்க எனக்கு எப்படி வந்து கனெக்ஷன் கிரியேட் பண்ணலாம் செஷன் டாட் நான் எடுத்திருக்கேன் ஆல்ரெடி செஷன் டாட் எனி ஒன் பில்டர் குட் பில்டர் டாட் configurations configs in configs what you have to pass you have to pass the connection param. connection params so parameters and then i want to create a connection if already connection is established i want to get the connection what method i have to use sir get or create sir get or create that's it get or create now shiva you have to think like I'm trying to do is based on this connection parameter, connection params. I'm trying to establish the connection with my Snowflake data warehouse. Snowflake data warehouse. That's why I using get or create. If already connection is established, using get I can able to get the connection. If connection is not established, I can able to create the connection. That's the method it's doing. Okay. Now uh, using session, I'm building the builder means it's like a builder object. It able to establish a connection. Good. Now what I have to do is it's very simple. Uh, just I have the data sets, the sample data sets. I'm saying guys, don't use while practicing. Okay, for understanding, I'm taking this uh, sample data sets. Play with the actual data. I should see you're in playing with 16 million records in the marketplace. Just go and uh, take the data sets. Play 16 million records. Good. Now, uh, simple data I have. Okay. Now we can able to see around how many columns we have, Shiva. We have six columns, right? One, two, three, four, five, six columns we have. And then you have to define the columns like this. Columns is a variable. Variable. It's actually a list. If you see this. Square brackets. You have to say it's a Python list. You have to say it's a Python list. In the Python list, you can able to see uh, all the uh, string values. Okay, employee name, department name, state, salary, age, bonus. These are the column names actually. Now good. Now, if I want to create data frame, what is the function I have to use? Method I have to use. Sorry. Just like creating DF. Now you guys have to say. how to create a data frame how to create a data frame anyone i have the sample simple data i have the columns right now how to create a data frame or if how to create a data frame it's very simple just uh, take session dot data session dot create data frame 
create data frame that's it okay now what happens it's going to create data frame for you shiva data frame is nothing but it will create a relational tables okay la or row and column format la table format la create kuduthu that is called create data frame data frame na similar like relational tables okay now everything you can see in terms of rows and columns okay la in the data pathina ungala or rows and columns paaka mudiyum adukaga dhaan data frame porom data frame is padathala enna advantage appadina you can optimize your memory while trying to read from the file it will take more memory to read the data if it is a data frame uh, you can take only it will take only less memory to read the data that's why we are creating data frame data frame is nothing but creating a relational tables in terms of rows and columns good now what you have to do you have to pass two arguments if you keep the cursor it will say you have to pass a data and then you have to pass data you have to pass and another you have to pass is schema sir schema you have to pass okay the data can be list or can tuple or can be any any type you can pass that schema can be struct type or iterable string you can pass okay or you can pass none as well return type of data frame is return type of data frame is data frame data frame created a frame return type is data frame if you see this uh, brackets right you can see it's return type in python good now i going to pass uh, data is a keyword equal to i going to pass simple data and then schema is a keyword in this schema i have to going to pass i going to pass i going to pass columns good now if i want to see schema what i can do i can go for print schema print schema is there right it will give the schema for you for example if i right click and run python in terminal you can see the schema that is is a print schema you can see the schema it will be printed in the terminal window it's still running now you can see the schema employee name is what type employee name is string what type. the type string, string type. type department string type state string type salary you can see salary salary is uh, actually you can see salary 90000 86000 it is long type okay long uh, type how many bits long type how many bits how many bytes long type actually long type how many bytes 8 bytes long is 8 bytes okay now 90000 is a long type and age is going to be again long type okay and then bonus also is going to be a long type it's automatically inferring the schema okay based on the data uh, you might have a question uh, i didn't give any uh, like data type how it's taking the string type as well as it's automatically inferring the schema as per the data it choosing the data type okay if you want to explicitly specific uh, specify the data type you can go for struct type previous class i took this guys struct type okay struct type and struct field you have to use you can explicitly specify your data types using struct so the moment i all took these things if you want to explicitly specify the data type you can use go for struct type and struct field you can go in struct field you can mention the column names and then column type also you can mention okay um okay good now this is how you can able to see a schema okay good now uh, i want to show us a data frame to shiva df df is nothing but data frame df dot show just run it you can run from here as well it is going to create a data frame you're going to see everything in a table format you can see right shiva you're looking in your table format table. employee name yes. is James Michael Robert Maria department name is sales sales finance and state is going to NYNY CACA salary is going to be some 90000 age is with 34 bonus going to 10000 okay this is how you can create a data frame now i going to now shiva will help me 
how to create a data frame for this simple data to okay i will copy the as it is this is another uh, data set now shiva will say how to create a data frame for this simple the same thing you have to follow here what are you followed right the same thing you have to follow or uh, sujitha pray can you help me anand for this data set you have to create a data frame just make it uh, df uh, one very equal to equal to equal to hey just create a data frame for this data sets a simple data set simple data set uh. How it is a simple session data. Data. It's, session it's going set. to be a new session. Anand, no need of any questions. New session dot session dot create data frame. Create data frame. Data. That's it. Create data frame, and then you can pass the data. There is a keyword equal to simple data to. And schema is going to be schema is a keyword. You have to pass the columns too. Okay, now Shiva Shankar, if I want to see a schema, what's the method I have to use? Df one dot. We want to see a schema for this data frame. Df one dot. Few minutes back, I took how to see a schema. Anyone? What is the method print, to see a schema? Print, print schema. It's a print schema you have to use. Okay, by seeing you can see schema. If I want see, I already said Snow Park is lazily evaluated. If you want to see as a table, what is the action I have to use? Show sir. Show. You have to use show. Good. Now just run it. Now we can able to create uh, two data frames. One is DF, another one is DF one. Now you can see the second data frame, right? Uh, James, uh, Maria, Jen, Jeff, Kumar. Okay, these are the second data frames, and then you can see the schema as well. The employee name is what type it is? Employee name type is. Data type. 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 String type. Sujita Priya. Department. Data type is. Department. Data type is. String type. Sir. String type. State. Uh, data type is. String type. Nullable is false. Nullable false. Na narto. Nullu varla narto. Nullum varla narto. If nullable equal true, what happens? Nullable equal true. Under na narto. No nullable is sir. No null values will be allowed. Okay, and then uh, you can see uh, you might have question why it's uh, automatically coming as a data string type. It's automatically inferring the schema based on the data. Data ke thamari na it's automatica. Adi way data ne choose pane kide. Niyenge vandi explicitly a specific pano na what classes you have to use. If you want to specify your data type explicitly, what classes you have to use. Few minutes back I said this thing. Structure. Struct type and struct field. Struct field for only defining the columns. Struct type for only defining structure. Okay. Struct field only for defining the columns. Okay. This two class very very important. In three the last. What is the difference between struct type and struct field? And then uh, can you uh, write a scheme of? Uh, they will give some column names. They will ask you to write the uh, schema. Okay. You have to. The struct field, and then you have to put your column names and put string type nullable equal to false. You have to mention everything in the struct type and struct field class. Already took these things to you. Good. Now uh, everything is working. Okay. I want to perform the union all. I have two data frames. One is DF, another one is DF1. Can you perform the union all now? DF dot. DF dot. What I have to use? Union all. Just you can see right, union all. Just go for union all. 
and put data frame one data frame one it's up to you uh you just place the curves in union all what is the return type for union all what is the return type data frame data frame you can see the arrows right it's giving you the data frame for you then you can store in one variable i'm going to store in one variable called union data frame equal to okay now what you have to do you are you can perform the just have this uh union df and then you have to use some actions because for snow park is lazily evaluated okay good just uh, go to paran python and python terminal now you have to see uh, see the results still running yeah how many records is there for union all how many records is there nine records nine records because correct it's not removing any duplicates you can see uh, we have the four records in the simple data and then here are five records five plus four nine records now you can see like uh, james right james only duplicate right one minute james one James, where is the James? Yeah, James is duplicate. If you are using it all, it won't remove the duplicates. Good. Now, uh, one minute, oh, guys. Uh, I'm performing the union all. Now, you guys have to see how to perform the union. How to perform the union? Same thing you have to follow. Same thing you have to follow. See, I perform union all. The same thing you have to perform for union. Change the variable. The same thing you have to follow. Can you give it a try? Variable. Don't make any external noise, guys. DF dot union a hey, union DF one DF one that's it okay just uh, do one thing if you perform the union data frame right dot you can give show show is one of the action until you are giving action it won't perform any things okay because no part is lazily evaluated like on an good. Okay, now you can see uh, how many records is there? Eight, sir. Eight. Only eight records is there. Okay, now um, you can see only one James came. Shiva, only one James came because Union will remove the Union will remove the duplicates. Duplicates. Okay, Union will remove the duplicates. Good. Now. One minute, guys. I will show one more thing as well. Yeah. One person is asking you. In union all, you have to remove the duplicates. At the time, what you can do, right? You can try with. You can try with. One minute. You can try with. Distinct. Distinct. <laughs> Okay, just I will command this line of now. If someone is asking to remove the duplicate from the union all, what you can do? You can use union all and then you can use distinct. Okay, just run this. After performing union all, you get nine records uh, and then you'll perform a distinct. Distinct will remove the duplicates. It's still running. Now you can see how many records is there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, 
I don't know uh, what the record is missing here. James, <clears throat> James, Michael, Robert, Maria, Jen, Jeff. James is gone, right? James is remote and one more record also remote. One minute, I'll check with this thing. James is remote. Michael, Robert, Maria should come. Okay, Michael, Robert, Maria came. And then Jen, Jeff. Uh, yeah, Maria, Maria, Finance CA. Another uh, Maria, here also Maria, Finance CA, 90,000, 24, 23,000. Hey, we have two duplicates, right? Guys, see, James also duplicates. Maria also duplicates. You can see the Maria Finance CA. We have two duplicates. Here also you can see Maria Finance CA, 90,000, 24,000, 23,000. That's why it's showing 77 records. Two records got? Remote. Sir. Two records were remote. Okay, we can use distinct function. Good. This is how you can perform the union and union all. These are the very LKG basics. Okay, now uh, I'm going to show a few more things to you guys like uh, um, how to perform the union by name. This thing you are not aware of, I know. Union by name. For this, what I have to do now, I have to take some uh, different data frames because we'll take an uh, example. Just we'll take this as an example as well. Next transform we're going to see union by name. The transformation name is union by name. Union by name, sorry. Union by name. Okay. Now you guys are going to see can I perform union for this two data frames? Can I perform union between union on union all between two data frames? What is the rule actually? If you are performing Hello. union you know, all what is same, sir. Schema should schema. be same. Okay, but what about what happened to the schema here? Employee name here he you have in first data frame. You have department. Here you have department. You have state. Here you have state. You have salary. Salary you have, and then you have age, age and bonus, and then bonus employee name is there. Okay, now the schema is changed, right? In data frame two, the schema get changed. Now, what you have to do is if this kind of scenarios, you have to go for union by name. What is the union by name will do, right? It will take this name and it will match with this column. I will take the department, it matches this column. It will take state and match with this column. Okay, it will take the name and then it will search in the second data frame that same name is exist or not. If it exists, it will join with this column. Like this, you can perform the union by name. Got it? RF, got it? It won't look at the position. Yes, sir. It won't look at the column names. Okay. Employee name means it will match with this column. Like this, it will do the match and then perform the union. Now, uh, for this, uh, we have to change the data set as well. Then only you can perform this thing. Now, what I'm going to do, uh, just to do one thing, I will create uh, one more thing. Just to copy, copy, and then and paste it here. Yeah, it's make like union transaction copy. Just uh, rename us union by name. Union by name. Just remove the copy. Okay, now got it right. Now what you have to do? Just you have to change the data. That's it. Just remove all these things. Okay. We have the import uh, module and then uh, we have transaction params and created a new session. Good. Now I'm going to create some data, some sample data. It should be a list, okay? It should be a list. In the inside the list, if you see this bracket, what it does it mean? In the bracket could either Mario bracket, but in the name in Python. Well, look at the list. 
லிஸ்ட்குள்ள என்ன இருக்கு சொல்ல முடியுமா anyone if you it's a tuple 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 is immutable you can't change okay in the in the list we have tuple okay just uh, take some uh, list of tuples it's a list of tuples okay just uh, change uh, take it as anand age is uh, 30 and take uh, tuple and then take some values like michael john okay check check it as uh, 56 take the tuple it's a list of tuples what name you can give a uh, robert okay robert maria and then uh, arif okay good we have the data now uh, we should have schema right uh, just to make the schema just put the list you can put the name and age how to how to create data frame how to create data frame there a new session yeah that's it new session dot create Sorry. data frame create data create data frame bracket data is equal to data equal to data is a keyword equal to not date data equal to data don't get confused the keyword this is the actual variable and then schema equal to columns right now you can get data frame no need to run this thing okay it will run and then i want to create a do want to see a schema want to see a schema you have to use print schema print schema and then create another data frame data 1 equal to just i going to have a tuple i going to have a tuple uh, okay how many values is there right i will copy the as it is inside the list we have a tuple python tuples it's immutable okay just what i going to do is i going to change the position got it what i'm doing anyone nana button theriyada sir age or name maatiteeng sir aama and then r is 67 comma r is okay good now what i am going to do right i am going to make uh, one variable call columns underscore one equal to i am going to have a list and then i am going to have like uh, age and name age and name okay just that's it good and then uh, again you add a data frame just copy as it is and make it as variable as df1 here also df1 okay and then change it as data1 and then column says columns underscore 1 okay good okay now uh, what you have to do now shiva look at here this columns you have name and age here you have age and name if you even ask to put union you should not go for union all or union because the exact column should match okay then only you can perform union and union all if they ask to put union what you can do you can go for union by name transformation okay just do one thing uh, take data frame 
and take union by name. Put control space. What happening here? Just uh, it's come now. Yeah, union by name. Okay, union by name is there. Union all by name is there. Union by name, it will uh, remove the duplicates. Union all by name. Union all by name. It won't remove the duplicates. It won't remove the duplicates. Union by name and remove the duplicates. Okay, just uh, go for union all by name as of now. Now just uh, pass DF1. If you place a cursor, what? is the return type of union all by name what is the return type of union data all data by data. name it's a data frame you can see it's a data frame okay just do one thing save in one variable uh, df underscore df equal to you can give it any name okay that's it now if you perform some actions then you can see the results Okay, just give show and then run it. It's still running. You can see. Now you can see, right? Sorry, guys. Sorry, I run one more time. Yeah, let it be. You can see the results here itself. You can see, right? It performing the union all. Okay. Okay. Now you, you have different uh, schemas. Like uh, there you see name and age. You're using age and name. You can perform that. And then if you want to remove the duplicates, what you can do? In union all, if you want to remove the duplicates, what transformation I can that. use? Dot. Dot. So dot distance. Destin, just run as it is. Okay, now it's removed the duplicates. Okay, now you can perform the same thing. Removing this and performing by remove the all. It's going to remove the duplicates again. Uh, I got five records, right? Same five records are going to get. Okay, you can see, right? Got the five records. Guys, I, uh, I think it's, I hope it's clear for you. I'm going to close session right now.